Welcome to PC Mac. Today we are checking how we can use our Raspberry Pi 3 to make a CCTV DVR and try to capture the, the videos and live streaming. So let's get started. First of all, I am using a 2 GB of card for this project. So I am inserting the card to my computer and just closing it. So first of all, I need to open the SD card formatter, then yes, to format the card. I am formatting it now. It's formatted. Now I am opening Hatcher to burn the image, to write the image to the SD card and now I'm selecting the image. The image is Motion iOS for Raspberry Pi 3. I mentioned the link in the description and you can see the link on the top sorry bottom right corner of the screen. Let me just show you by going to this website. So here you can see all the images are available here. So if you're using a Raspberry Pi 2, just select this one and Pi 0 for this one. I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 for this project. So I have downloaded this particular image. So I'm closing this now and in between the flashing will be done in a moment. It's a really small image of 71 MB. Once this image written to the SD card, then we will insert it to our Raspberry Pi and we will see how the motion iOS work. Now the flash is complete. We will take out the card and insert it to our Raspberry Pi. It will take only a moment to install the image on the Raspberry Pi. So please wait. I have turned on my Raspberry Pi and let me just close this. For this project I am using my Android phone as a Wi-Fi camera. To make your Android phone as a Wi-Fi camera you just need to use this particular software Camera Stream Wi-Fi. Let me show you on the web browser how this software look like. So it's right here, camera stream Wi-Fi. It looks something like this. So you can download it on your phone to check it out. And now we will open our network watcher to check that what's the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. As you can see the IP address is 192.168.1.75. So let me open my web browser and open the 75 IP address and as you can see the my iOS is open and there is no default password to login just you need to type username as admin I'll click on login now we are login to our motion i and as we don't have any camera connected to our motion i so we need to connect the camera but first of all we need to configure some steps so first of all what we need to do we need to put a password here so I'm inserting my password and then we need to go into advanced settings let me just first of all apply and log in with the new password and then we need to go into just check for the software update if there is any other software update available or not so there is no software update now we need to go into network and then enable the wireless network now I'm typing my wireless name and the password that's it now we need to apply and yes now our motion I is on the Wi-Fi network so we can disconnect the LAN cable, no problem with it. In a moment it will be 
establishing the connection with the Wi-Fi we we'll log in again now I'll show you how we can connect our motion eye camera and first of all I'll show you how we can install that app to my Android phone I'm on my Android phone right now what you need to do is to open the Play Store first of all and when you open the Play Store you need to search for camera stream Wi-Fi and you will see the app on the top camera stream Wi-Fi you can install it once it's installed you just need to open it and when you open it it will look like this and it will show you the IP address on the bottom left corner and it will show you the image resolution on the top right corner sorry on the bottom right corner so you just need to change it from here according to your Wi-Fi speed and your router configuration you can easily change it so now we'll get back to our computer and I'll show you the camera configuration now as the app is installed in my Android phone we'll try to configure our camera here so we need to go here on the top left corner and then click here and add camera and then when we click on add camera we need to open the app on our phone so when you open the app on your phone it will give you the IP address of your camera and you just need to follow the instructions and add that here in camera add camera console so give me just one minute and I'll put the details here in between I'm setting up my camera so you can see what's going on on the screen so my camera is set up now we will set up the camera here network camera and then http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.76 and the port number is 8080 so this is the IP address for my camera as the app shows you on the bottom left corner now we just need to click here on the camera and as you can see it's selected MJPEG cam network camera you just need to click on OK and the camera will be set up now so the camera is set up it will be streaming in a moment now that start streaming you can just maximize the image from here to see as you can see the camera is streaming now now the image is better and once it's done I'll show you the next step what you need to do is go into settings again and then you can change the camera name like I'll it uh, right now I'm using my MI A1 so I put the name here and as you can see you can just select automatic brightness and you can change your frame rate from here so for a better streaming now here are other options you can select a custom path for your file storage either you can select a network path or a custom path or right now the, uh, the streaming will be saved in your SD card but I don't want to do that because I'm using a small SD card of 2 gigabyte as you can see 1.6 GB is already used so we will see in the next video how we can use the network devices to share the data and everything and you can check these options from here the video streaming and everything so we will check all other options in my next video so please wait for my next video 
and thank you for watching my video please share subscribe to my channel bye bye take care have a nice day